This was disclosed by Minister of Public Works Honorable Bishop Juan Edgel during an inspection at the CGIA on Friday. He was accompanied by Minister within Ministry of Public Works Honorable Diodat Indar. Minister Edgel told InfoHub that the venture was mismanaged and corrupted during the last five years. The concerns are many. The problems are many. But I think what is of great importance now is to see that this project is completed in keeping with the agreed scope that they have signed on to. We are way past completed date. We are in the period of liquidated damages. Anything that could have gone wrong has already gone wrong. The contractor was supposed to design, build, and hand over to the government of Guyana a project that was financed 138 million US dollars from the Exim Bank of China and 12 million US dollars from the government of Guyana. The Public Works Minister said there was where more than should have been expended was spent on the project, yet there is a low percentage of success. What is needed right now are all the resources that needs to be imported for the completion of this project. We need to get on with it. COVID-19 will no longer be used as an excuse because government has given instructions to all government projects for work to recommence. Secondly, the getting of the Chinese technicians and exports into the country is no longer a problem in as much as the commercial air airport our airport for commercial airlines are not operating. The GCAA has been granting permission for chartered flights. According to Minister Ejil, the consultants and the Chinese contractor China Harbor Engineering Company, CHEC, now have approximately five days to produce a revised work plan to put a timeline to every item that needs to be fixed. The project, which commenced during the PPPC, 2011-2015 tenure should have been completed since December 31st, 2018 by the former APNU AFC government. With this in mind, Minister Indar has maintained that the Granger-led administration ignores several works which were originally mandated. He added that the PPPC government will now have to remedy the current impasse. There are four air bridges, four of them right now there. We were supposed to get eight there is an empty apron that you all saw. That apron is supposed to have four air bridges on it with, for a the big, with a building next to it. Right now, the building where the building is supposed to be, there is a generating facility for generators. Other areas like the Erie National Information Management AIM, the Control Tower, the Communication, Navigation and Surveillance CNS, and the Departure Lounge were inspected. Both ministers witnessed protocols which were initiated by CGIA to ensure that COVID-19 precautions are observed for inbound and outbound flights. The inspection concluded with a private meeting between the ministers and the relevant personnel to ensure that the new administration's plans, as it relates to the timelines, are implemented. Neola Dimon, InfoHub.